So. So. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, so today, um, well, we just after recording Gumloot, and we're after doing crypto billionaire um, men in dresses. Crypto men, women. Yeah, and they are... Honestly, I can't uh, really explain the video that much because it's YouTube. But look, if you're interested in Gumroad, it's £7.50 a month. It's honestly great. I love doing it. And, uh, it's so fun. Honestly, it's it's just so, it's very liberating for a change. And the first story that we're going to be doing today, you know... James, is, James has got a really like crafty grin on his face here. Um, So I'm just going to scroll up, Megan. Okay, you ready for oh, this Is this one? why we're dying? So I didn't see the head down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. They eat the poopoo. They eat the poopoo. Gay Spanish politician with left-wing governing party resigns after fools circulating showing him eating his... Is that him? Yeah. He ate the poopoo. Stop it. No way. Yes way. Yes way. He ate the poopoo. He ate the poopoo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything else to say on that. Do we read a bit of this or I don't even know if they, like, the headline... Yeah, the headline said. explains it. So I don't like... You know, in mid-February, photos and videos of Gomez were shared that he had posted on social media accounts, Wait, pornographic what? websites. In one video, the counsellor, who is in his late 20s, is seemingly naked on the floor eating his own feces. I mean, like, there was one of, like, a staffer. It was an American politician. I can't remember who it was. And, like, you know, they recorded, like, gay sex and, like, in, like, the main, like, room. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, you know, like, the equivalent of, like, someone getting bummed at House of Commons. Yeah. You know, like, the main, like, parliament floor. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, but I don't... So, yeah, that's 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 a thing that exists, guys. Um, I don't really care much to read the... The rest art, of it, but, rest, like, yeah. Rest of it, but, like, I just thought, like, holy fuck. I feel like, like, that's... that's Jesus. That, that's bombastic enough. That's how, that's how you start... Bombastic anxiety! That's how you start a video, guys, all right? That's how you do it. Also, check your gum because if this is what we're doing here, then you know you know, miss night. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, this one isn't even. Like, I just thought this was funny. Whoa, I'm running low on shoes. Yeah, me. Let me, me. Please let me go. Literally, <laughs> you. Right. So I've been. How long have I been wearing niggers for? I wear black and From white niggers. About twenty fourteen. Yeah, I've been wearing the same black make. and white niggers, and he. It's not the same of them. This it's not the same pair. It's just I have to keep buying them a new pair like, of the same shoe. Yeah. Um And now they don't make them anymore. The same ones that he has, so he has to go for something different. But they're, well, they're only slightly different that I'm they're gonna be slightly different. And I want them to get a nice shoe, like a nice I'd love them like a nice pair of jeans and a nice pair of like Air Force or something. He's like, No, black and white Air Max <laughs> always. That's it. this is what I want. This wear. is a slav in me. Yeah, well, well no nah, slavs are that he does. Anyway, look, let's keep going. This one is actually just insane. But the thing is, you know this is quite a true one. Oklahoma City Oklahoma wanted. Oklahoma City wanted. Uh, in dire need of kittens. I have five very large python snakes. No, don't. And three young python snakes currently in great need of food. There appears to be a shortage of kittens that I regularly pick up on here. Got kittens? I can pick them up immediately. No need to wait until they're of age to separate from their mother. My snakes are hungry and they eat those kittens now. I also accept bunnies and hamsters. You know that's real. That is. Sometimes when you... That's horrendous. The only one that like kind of comes close to that one is you remember the one about the Gordy or whatever? Remember that like the guy was saying goodbye to like the public restroom with the Gordy hole in it? No. Do you remember that? No. We did that one like maybe a month ago. There was a guy... He was like saying goodbye to is a little glory hole or something. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, he's like, oh, I got many a blue job in here, so I know it was great. I loved it. I loved it. You know that guy, that one. I definitely believe this one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, what do we have here? Yeah, this one's. I'm gonna assume this is Canada. People on Reddit asking the real question: Why don't tattoo places just euthanize their clients? What? I drive around a lot for work and I recently saw some signs for a dentist that says they offer euthanasia for their clients who might be scared of going to the dentist. Euthanasia, oh my god. I think it's Canada. Have you seen that with Canada? No, they've got it mixed around. This Why, what are they? Oh, knockout. Knockout gas. Oh, right. Oh, see, one of my first... They offer euthanasia for their clients who might be scared of going to the dentist. So, like, it's laughing gas. Yeah, like, oh, they, they often... Think, I was what... driving... I was driving so I couldn't really take a picture but I thought it was really cool since I've never really liked going to the dentist. It got me thinking as to why tattoo places don't just do the same thing. Um, I have a low pain tolerance so I think 
if a place offers euthanasia, <laughs> I'd probably be, be more likely to visit. I mean, like, I'm I'm not one tattoo. Man, you've got one tattoo. I want more. No. But you won't let me. No. This is a domestic situation because James won't let me cut my hair. He also won't let me get tattoos and he won't let me get piercings. There, the chat's and gonna, James the, is rocking about looking like this. You know, okay, like, okay. No, okay. I'm just, you know James what? doesn't even know the meaning of moisturiser. He doesn't. His face is like fucking sandpaper. Like, and he won't put moisturiser on, but yet I'm not allowed a second person. So, all I'm saying is, I got the goggles, guys. James is allowed to I have got, goggles. I got the goggles. You're allowed to. So, I say no to goggles, you get goggles. I and I'm not allowed to get anything. Megan, the, it's a safety precaution. I need them. I need the goggles. I'm going to go out one day and I'm going to get tattoos and I'm going to get pierced and I'm going to come back and you're just going to have to fucking deal with it or divorce me. You're going to get locked in the shit. I own the house. You're going to get locked. In the I shed. own the heist. I'm so lucky in the I shed. Don't care. Right, up next we've got the worrying eyes of Gimp Men. How masked mass men <laughs> clad from head to toe in latex have been terrifying women and girls in <laughs> Somerset, Gloucester, Essex, and London. Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> Imagine just walking home from night and just seeing a Gimp. I think, mate, this is American Horror Story. I mean, we, what the we, we, we did this whenever they first were a thing. Yeah, there's a while. We, t- we talked about this, like, it? was it like 2021? When was this? Like, this this is only from the 8th of April. April? Yeah, this, this is year? new. This is only like a couple of days ago. Yeah, this is only new. Like, like last like, week? See, look, there's been loads of sightings. Stop it. Look. <gasps> look. See, see, that's the old one. Yeah, tw- 2019, actually. 2019? Yeah, so that one was a while back. The Somerset Gimp. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, let's lead through this. So, the UK... The UK is in the grips of Gimp men trend that seems no signs of stopping with sightings across the country. It began in 2019 when residents of the sleepy Somerset village of Claverham spotted a man clad head to toe in latex skulking around a quiet cul-de-sac <laughs> he probably got locked out of his house <laughs> oh, no, oh, I mean, that's what I would have thought yeah on his mask he had a crudely etched a face with a bright red cross for eyes and a snarling cut mouth retched into the permanent into a permanent smile all right those unfortunate enough to see the gimp that day <laughs> have never forgotten it and sadly it was just the beginning in the years that have followed countless copycat terrorists have sprung up around the country terrifying and disgusting <laughs> those they come across before fleeing to date just one gimp man has ever been caught these are the locations they have reportedly <laughs> struck across the UK. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's like the killer clowns with gimps. Uh, Wait, why is that one on the ground? I don't know. What's up with this one? A teenager also says he encountered... No, wait, stop. A teenager also says he encountered a man wearing a full body gimp suit and face covering in Cleve, North Somerset, who flopped to the ground. What? <laughs> he flopped by the ground like is magic it, card. Is this one of the gimps? Joshua Hunt, 32, the self-employed gardener dubbed the Somerset gimp, remains the only gimp to have been brought to justice. He looks proper North F. He's only... Me- Megan, he's only two years older than me. I know, he's 32. That's what your heart's going to be like. Nah, he... He's that's that's he looks like he's 40. He does, at he, least. He looks like he's 40. Mate, look at the mask. Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> mask recovered from Joshua by the police in their investigation. That's not a gimp outfit. That's not a that's leggings and a thermal. Yeah, I mate, mean, this guy was just gobbing houses. Yeah, and he just pretended he was a gimp. All right, hold on, let's go down. Right, so Somerset. <laughs> Joshua Hunt, last seen May 2023. <laughs> Status charged. Charged and subject to a sexual risk order banning him from wearing a gimp mask. <laughs> 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 Stop it. Uh, last year, Joshua Hunt, 32, dubbed as the Somerset Gimp, was found guilty after he scared female drivers while dressed in a black gimp suit and mask, which a court had banned him from wearing for five years. Okay, so in six years, you can put you can put it back on, man. <laughs> so you can put the gimp mask back on, but we trust you to stay in your house. Yeah. Uh, the b- bizarre incidents took place in rural Somerset on the evening of May 7th and shortly after midnight, May 9th this year, at Belladon near Western Supermare. Um, when Hunt from Cleaverham was arrested, minutes after the second incident he told police I'm not a gimp I do own a gimp suit but I'm not I'm not in a gimp suit <laughs> wait, wait, what? however the arresting officers weren't convinced as the back of his van was full of gimp gear <laughs> oh my god he's driving out the gimp mobile Hunt had previously been arrested on suspicion of causing a public nuisance over a series of other gimp incidents in Cleve uh, Cleverham and Eaton areas last year um, many of these also saw a man rolling around the floor and making threatening noises towards people <laughs> he appeared in front of late at night <laughs> hey. but police said insufficient evidence meant no further action was taken in relation to those offences I mean like honestly I think the like gym sightings are kind of funny they're I think they're hilarious. hilarious 
I don't see them as like. I would want if it happened. Well, I would get photos with them. Yeah, I would immediately start recording. Yeah, I would just get photos with them. Be like, yo, mate, what's up? <laughs> I know. Like, I really don't think. Like, honestly, it's gimps. You know, you could just slap them about. Yeah. Because it'd be. But the thing is, they would moan and be like. Uh. Yeah, like I don't. I don't know if I want that type of shit. <laughs> Nah, you know what, actually, nah. Like, wait, what? Mate, is this him in, like, a cell? London, last year, a man dressed as a gimp suit was allowed to attend a play at Shakespeare's Globe in front of stunned theatre go- goers and children. Oh, what? Nah. Wait, so did he just, like... He went to the Globe Theatre dressed so it, like that. So is it just going to be, like, do they just go out for wee walks and whatnot and, like, go about their daily life just in a gimp suit, then? What do you I think? Know. I thought, I don't know. I, I thought you just kind of locked gimps in the cupboard or yeah, something. Yeah, so did I. You know? St- so I don't think unknown. Like, at large. <laughs> Right, okay, let's This is see. about your man on the, in, at the Globe. Yeah, is there anything else about him? Is there anything no. worth talking about? No. Me, what the fuck is this for? Me, no, why is this, like, so <laughs> cursed? Another gimp spotted by residents in the last year. On Halloween, he was never found. Oh, no, yeah, it's Halloween, you know, he, nah, that's just nah, a piss take, so it that's is. That's a piss take. Honestly, if we go back up, like, that's a piss take to me. That, that is that a, I, yeah, that, see. That, that, that to me sounds I like... I think it's, it's all a piss take. I like it. There's probably, like, one that's actually, like, 100% serious, and then, like, this guy... This one's guy, at large, too. You guys watch out and you guy that scooped they just must have thought that shit was yeah i've seen videos of this guy is there not like a guy on, like... i think i seen something about him on four channel a while ago i think that no i think i, I saw like i don't know if i saw him for he a streamed, did he not it was like a tiktoker i, I remember seeing and like he was going around and he was like getting photos with people and stuff i can't remember and he was like oh i mean now like what is what's up with this guy then so he was the i don't the unknown the unknown gimp was described by was a scrawny and menacing no that was the fucking oh here here like yeah 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 i think was this the same guy in essex yeah of course asks at large uh he went viral during COVID 19 as he documented himself shopping in tesco's Tesco's dresses yes i think yeah i think i've seen this yeah i think that's the one i saw yeah all right what's this one uh sussex unknown at large oh this is only in march oh last month the dog walker who does not wish to be identified encountered someone wearing a very see-through very see-through tights and a balaclava in sussex the individual who was not caught on camera allegedly exposed themselves to the pedestrian at 7 30 a.m um, on March 8th. Nah, He's up well, early nah, on the early daily grind. Nah, that guy's up to no good, so he is. Mm-hmm. He's de- like, I, I think some of them are doing it for a bit of a meme. That one's their But fashion, that, one, that you know. one's straight up flashing. Yeah. Whereas I, I think the guy that was scooped, it's like, mate, I'm not a gimp. Like, you know, it's just, just for a bit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think he was in the yeah. guy on Halloween. I don't think was either. Uh, in Bung, Bungay. 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 Um, <laughs> uh, a uh, woman and girls have been left fearing for their safety after they were full up of mass men in a pretty market town. Mass men, come on. Um, that could just be like. I don't think it's gimps. I just think that's. I think muggers. that's just arbs. I just think that's muggers. Yeah, you know, fair, sounds you know. like it. Um, but so yeah, that's. Um, watch out, guys. There's gimps so still watch at out, large guys. out in the UK. So anybody in the mainland UK, watch out. You know what? You could get bummed. Come to think of it, they all seem to be from down south. Maddie, I know you're watching this. <laughs> You Maddie, could be, Maddie's northern? Yeah, I know. So, like, you could be the, the gimp of the north. Oh, here, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Maddie. You know you want to. Instead of the angel of the north, be the gimp of the north. <laughs> yeah, angel of the north. <laughs> no, he, no, he's from uh, is West Yorkshire. Yeah, he's yeah, still from yeah, north. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, like, I'd be mean, like... Start it, s- Maddie. We'll send you the gimp set. Yeah, we'll start Yeah, We'll start you on. And, like, you know, we need, a, we need to make this go a bit more... Because it's all, like, down south in England. So, like, yeah. you know, we're going to need a Welsh one. We need a Scottish we'll, one. We'll put a QR code in the back of people's scan they'll automatically like sub the gum road <laughs> yeah well uh you know what i'll set up an affiliate with amazon so well <laughs> well for, for gimps yeah. <laughs> yeah i did i did that just go sure that was because i had an affiliate and then i did like it's like a parody like it was like luda like dice and stuff like that i was doing like an affiliate with that people could order with and then there was like a little play here and it was like fucking like bdsm yes bdsm <laughs> stuff, stuff yes, that was ages ago that. though i thought it was really funny not gonna lie not many people actually saw it are you tired of overreaching and overbearing censorship on important and non-important issues well you're in luck For just $7.50 a month, you can get access to over 60 hours of completely uncensored and unhinged schizo takes from Megan and James. From us. I mean, look, um, it's 60 hours at the minute. Every week we do a minimum of like three hours. Yep. So, you know. You get a lot of content. There's a lot on there. A lot of content. Ranging from... (laughs) Or even... Yes, they are that spicy. Even the name of the topic must be censored. You can't even, we can't even promote it on YouTube. (laughs) 
You can stream or download all the videos from Gumroad and cancel your membership at any time. Though new videos every week on average come to two to three hours long so we can really go in depth on any topic and we are not strangled by the YouTube algorithm. That's a big issue I always find. Yeah. If we want- can be open and uncensored and not have to worry about any of that. If you want to talk about a subject, YouTube really promotes, oh, you're going to have to get that done in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But on this, we can really take your time and really delve yep. into it. And most weeks we do bonus off-topic videos. And yes, we even have a teaser video you can download for free from nickbeardia.co.uk. In it, we talk about Northern Ireland for four and a half hours. <laughs> I don't even think we're Scots. Sorry. No, it's to try and help you understand who we are as people, our worldview, and how we can kind of be aliens to most people. If any of that sounds good to you, go ahead, links down below, and let's get back to the video. My ex-boyfriend exploited my hypersexuality to fulfil his cuckold fantasy and it ruined. We haven't done cucks in a while. No, we haven't. We kind of, like, took a break. Anyway. I have struggled with borderline personality disorder for the past three years. It manifested er at an early age of 17. I did not really know what was happening, but I thought but I would have manic bouts that made me very hypersexual to the point where I would miss a week of school to avoid issues. I was constantly aroused and compelled to masturbate to calm myself down. It's not most teenage boys. I think this is a it's girl. A, how do you know it's a girl? Oh, well, I don't care. Like yeah, fair enough. about being enough. a girl. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, at 19, I met my boyfriend and at first he was really understanding or at least acted that way. He would have sex, but I was never satisfied and always frustrated. Boyfriend shit sex. Just. Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend boyfriend convinced me that I just needed a much more aggressive, stronger and more experienced and hung lover. Maybe it is a girl though. He explained he was really into cock holding and poly relationships and convinced me it would help. Uh, the last year was a blur. Instead of taking meds, I listened to him. He would find bulls online. They were always a type. Late 30s, early 40s, physically big and strong brutes with really big cock. The sex was always rough. The sex was always rough and I'm not going to lie, it felt amazing in the moment. Every time it ended, I would have a huge drop and feel like shit. Sometimes cry for hours. My boyfriend never cared and was just interested in the next setup to watch. After a few really intense sessions with some really big mean monstrous men, I broke all contact with my boyfriend. I am back in talk therapy, all men and using IUD but I feel numb and scared of myself so like so I mean like, like a boyfriend took advantage of a mentally ill <laughs> yeah, it's like let me find those a mentally ill woman I can I find <laughs> like, so I'm just putting it out here but like like so see when it comes to like the whole bulls mm-hmm. do you really want this wee fucking fella sitting in the corner like jacking it watching? I know does that like, like that, I'm, I'm just putting it out here right now that would put me off I know that would I'd be like it put, you, put you off your rhythm like like me can you can you just get it please I know yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, mate, but like this ain't doing it for me. So like, this isn't gonna I, work. Get get out. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Wreck <laughs> it up, Luigi. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. My husband just got a sex doll. This one's kind of funny. So it is. This one's actually like, okay. I don't like. Oh, okay, let's um, just do it. I've been married to my husband for seven years now. I am 29 female and he's 32 male. For a few months to a year now, I've been saying no to sex a lot. I've just not been in the mood, but his libido has been the same sky high levels that they were since before, since we were college kids. Some days when I'm in bed, tired, he starts touching me, trying to get me primed for sex. Most times I'm not in the mood, but sometimes I cave into his begging. I feel like I felt as his wife it was my duty but I never enjoyed any of those sex sessions. So I made my feelings known to him. At first he seemed really down but he said he respected my decision. He stopped asking me for sex after that. Even when he asked, I said after, even when he asked, after I said no, he would just roll over and go to bed. After a month or two, he suddenly came he suddenly came him came, came in yeah, with came a sex doll. <coughs> It was a really expensive one with huge tits and a round ass with very human-like skin. When I was conf- when I confronted him about it, he said he had sexual needs and since I couldn't satisfy them, he had to find a way to satisfy himself without cheating. When he said that, I felt like I couldn't say anything. It made me really insecure and I suddenly feel really awful. I can't tell him to get rid of it because it'll make me look really selfish. I also can't complain about how expensive it was because we're pretty well off. I noticed one night that I was in the mood, but he told me he was tired. He just had a few rounds with a sex doll before I got <laughs> home and was po- pooped out. Um, I don't know what to do at this point, but I knew I feel awful. 
I think that's funny as fuck. I think that's worse than cheating. Well, you know. Do you know what? No, I think that's worse. I, I would, think, you know, I would rather find out that my husband slept with an actual woman than open, open a cupboard and this fucking <laughs> lifeless sex doll comes out. That, I think that's the biggest problem with like a lot of those like sex dolls. But like fucking the, a corpse. Yeah, are they in like, see like the really expensive ones, like what do you do? Do you just put them in the cupboard after? Do you put them in the dishwasher? <laughs> like, well, yeah, we know few, well, I've, I've seen a few videos of people putting the things in dishwasher. And like, I know. it makes me it makes me want to be like, maybe I should never buy a secondhand dishwasher. dishwasher. Yeah, you know. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Like, well, you know, like your woman seems fucking. She's not for it. What what else? Like, you know, and she's turning them down constantly. What else is it going to do? What well, buying a sex doll isn't an option, okay? I know, but like, I it wouldn't be for me. Just a like, wank. I know, but like, is there, the thing is, the way that they're going about this, like, is there any point in even being married? Like, look. What do you mean? A marriage isn't just about sex. I know it's not. It? I know it's not just about sex, but it is there and like you know yeah there has to be some sort of sexual intimacy and, and there you go within but a there's, and there's none here and there's none mm. that's what it, that's that's the way they're making it out mm. there's absolute zero here and I'm going to assume the only reason why she was in the mood was because she's fucking getting jealous over this fucking sex doll sex doll unironically so you know that's the way I, I look at it I don't know I just think it's kind of funny not going to be like you know but... it's like well you know hmm. <laughs> still I don't know really like, like what do you do do you just put like a towel over the top of their head or something like a ghost in the cupboard I know I know you know it's like ah oh, no I'm not in the mood no, I'm you sweet. buy like you know one of them big like bags that you buy for a Christmas tree yeah and put it in that yeah. so it's like a body bag in the cupboard <laughs> oh fuck that but again no it's also one of the part like the other part is like you know like even if you're not in the mood or whatever sometimes like you know like if it's gonna go on for that like sometimes you just gotta do what you got you know right yeah yeah like you know it's yeah like you know you can't just go that long and be like mm, I know you know what I mean? like come on sort yourself out I know if I say like no to like James like two times I'm like right okay the third time like I'm yeah, gonna have to yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck, get it sorted yeah. Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend's cancer battle ruining my mental health, so I left him. Now I'm running a marathon. <laughs> yeah, Megan's just furiously loving her face. I. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know all your problems. It's just not. I. I. I need a break from all this. See you, babe. I love that. <laughs> I don't get that. Yeah, that one's just. I don't get that, that at that, all. That's that's actually repulsive. There's no other way to put that. That's insane. the only time I leave James due to my mental health is whenever James is like sick, as in like whenever James has like the cold. Well, James is. I don't. Well. No, I just. Well, whenever James has the cold, James is looking for like the suicide no. pod. James is ridiculous. Right. What? You no 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 no, no 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 because you're absolutely pathetic whenever it comes to you getting the all sniffle. right. So first up, I never used to get sick ever. Before we had Aussie, I used to be. I, I think I got sick in my twenties. Before yeah, whenever I, got, I get sick, I have to get up and get on with it. I only and got go and work I've, an I've, actual fucking job. I've only ever got sick like once. <laughs> I so go out and do like actual work, James. I've only ever got like I think, but like since we had Aussie, see the thing is, I get sick and you're like, eh, you just deal, and then oh, and, and then, then I get sick, and, and then, then I still sick, have to get up and, and do shit, and then you you I still have to get up yeah. and do shit. And make the dinner and yeah. tidy the house and go out to work. Yeah. Yeah. You you still you still make it out as if you like just so say I still it. get up no, and get on with it. You I still it. get up and get on with it instead of walking around the house like fucking hunchback in Notre Dame like this and you're like, Oh I'm really not do we have any job? What's the name? Do you know? I can't. It's literally what you sound like whenever you're not well. Your fucking dressing gown on, your balls hanging out and you're like, Oh Megan, help me. That's literally what you're like. Well, I don't give a fuck, right? You know what I <laughs> Either way, you no. Know, the thing is, you don't believe that I'm actually sick, though. And then when no, you get don't it, believe that you're sick. and then when, but whenever you get what I've got, it hits no, you like a past, ton of but shit. The pa- but the past couple of times that you've been sick, I never got sick. Yeah, I don't get what's going on here. Fake and gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. Um, check our gum load. That's a yeah. thing. Um, been, I've been having a lot of fun there recently. I must yeah, say, a lot um, of fun. I've been enjoying the crypto. Men in dresses. That was a fun video, even though I think it's going to turn into a giant. Me- it's going. It's like a two-hour rant of us showing yoga. Yeah, guy. look at this. <laughs> look, at this. <laughs> look at this guy. Shoot, check this one. Like that's mad. Whoa, you know. But like seven fifty, you get. We're we've done fifty videos now. So we have. Yeah. We're coming up on fifty, yeah. and each of them is like honestly the the shortest you're talking about an hour. So there's like honestly there's like two hundred and fifty hours worth of video there yeah. for seven fifty. You get access to all of it. You can download it all, and you can cancel your membership. At at any given time, time. so, that's so like it's pretty convenient yeah so go check it out and check out 
all the links down below. Yeah. Um, I'll watch it. I would say about the deck of triggers, I'll flash them all up on screen, but I can't really link you to like a pre page yet. Yeah, we're, we're not at that stage yet. Yeah, but it will be very soon. Like, I'm talking like maybe it'll be up within the next like two weeks. I'm pretty positive. Well, it depends on how long it's going to take for the lenders to come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But, like, so we are at the very last stages. Stages, yeah. So... It's just the stupid finalising shit. Now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Staying. Yeah, subscribe. Don't be all. a gimp. And <laughs> yeah. we'll see you next well, time. Well, you know what? If you are going to be a gimp, at least document and send yeah, it to us. Yeah, send us to us, please. Thank Maddie, you. Maddie, I know you're watching. Not, send... not in, like, a weird way. Just, like, if you're out, like, scared. <laughs> like, no, anyway. right. Yeah, see you, babe. Bye.